Welcome back to American Latino TV. The breathtakingly beautiful breakout star and lead actress of NBC's new scripted reality show, Siberia, is a two-time Miss Puerto Rico and Miss Universe runner-up, and also the new cast member of Bravo's The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. She is Joyce Girard, and if heating things up this year in a fake reality drama as well as a real reality show weren't enough, just wait till you hear her story because there's more to this brunette bombshell than meets the eye. Take a look. Someone has to sleep on the floor. Well, it's not going to be me, so... Why wouldn't it be you? She got a little bit upset at her. Um, I guess Esther's not used to sleeping on the floor. I don't think it would have been such a big deal. At least we're sleeping somewhere and not just out in the woods. When Joyce Girard embarked on her journey from rural Puerto Rico to renowned beauty queen, she never figured that path would lead her to Hollywood stardom. But that's exactly what it did. I grew up in Aguas Buenas. It's a little town um, up north, and I, it's, I had the cows, and I was milking cows. I was a little bit of a nerd um, because I started school when I was very young, and then I was just very nerdy. And unfortunately for me, I was really bullied at school because I was so nerdy. So I was 15 years old. I lied to get a job at KFC. I wanted to get a job, so I was like, I really want a job so I can help my mom with, with you know, with paying for school. And I was at the drive-through, and this big guy comes by. He's really, really big, and he stops by, and he's like, Are you? A model and I look at him and I'm like no I'm not actually and I thought he was making fun of me and you know the rest is history after that I got a lot of modeling jobs and then one thing led to another and then after my BAs uh, the whole Miss Puerto Rico thing led me in a different path they convinced me that I had to move to LA and I always thought LA is so far from Puerto Rico I'm never moving to LA it's crazy LA is so Hollywood and people are so fake people suddenly see a person break through and they think oh wow she came out of nowhere it's an overnight success there are no overnight successes in LA I remember one time I wanted to give up and I had just called my mom and my mom was like no te preocupes Lassie she calls me Lassie because of the dog because she says I'm loyal so she calls me Lassie because of the dog um, so she's like no te preocupes Lassie it's gonna be okay let's make a prayer so I I stop my car, I make a prayer with her. So I go to this audition and I booked it. And to me, that was like a sign from God saying, hey, don't give up. You can never give up on your dreams. What's wrong with you? And then after that, I was really lucky and I got roles on Baywatch Hawaii, which I loved. It was the remake of Baywatch, but it was with David Hasselhoff as well. And then I did The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, which I also loved because I was their dream girl. Um, and it was cute to, to be with those beautiful boys. And then I was really lucky and did Joey. Uh, I played uh, Matt LeBlanc's girlfriend on Joey. I did a couple soap operas, One Life to Live, Bold and the Beautiful. I'm actually one of the producers in Siberia. Siberia came to my our company, my husband's company and I, um, through Matt Arnold, he's our director. So Siberia is about a group of contestants that go to Siberia, Russia to compete for $500,000. These contestants go there and they all have like a really, really deep, deep feeling why they're there. So sometimes people think, well, would you really compete in a reality show like that? Yes, all of these contestants, for all of them, the stakes are really high. They all want that money or need that money for something very important in their lives. We all want to win, but we do have to play it fair. I believe in life you have to play fair to win and then life rewards you back. The way the whole NBC deal worked was we literally put out a press release with our sales company, Sierra Engine. They said, we want to make a press release and let everybody know that we're repping you, you know, to sell the show. They put the press release and that same day, the moment the press release came out, NBC calls Sierra Engine and says, we want this, can you bring it to us first? Can you please give us a holding? And we're like, of course, hello, and are you kidding me? Here's two groups trying to make fire. I mean, we're there with all collecting wood. We're, we're struggling. And he's just there chilling. Don't you want to help? I mean, all the guys are helping. The girls are helping. There's a group that's out there. My best advice for everyone, and I think that that's what I did personally, was just to always stay true to myself. No matter what the end result would be, I just always stay true to myself.